Okay, good afternoon, my name is Caroline Seski, um, and today I'll be talking about entrepreneurship. Um, so I'm a sophomore here at Gross Point South, um, but before I get into my speech, I'd like you to think about something that you've always wanted to do. Um, and this is my dog, Keeper. Um, I tried to get him to wave to you all, but I guess you'll just have to let it slide. <laughs> um, anyways, nine months ago, uh, the definition of an entrepreneur is someone who organizes and operates a business, taking on greater than normal financial risk in order to do so. So nine months ago, I began working on my company at Ocean Catch. Um, and we make baseball hats, um, and it's a partial profit company, um, and we sold uh, hats to our sailing team here at South uh, in order to profit Feeding America. Um, so Feeding America helps those who aren't able to um, feed themselves or feed them, their families. Um, and their statistics were really powerful to me, uh, that one in six people in America and one in six people in Michigan go hungry, and they need the support of Feeding America, and they run off donations. Uh, so it was something that was really powerful to me and something that I wanted to help. Um, so my monetary accomplishments uh, were not necessarily um, impressive. Um, <laughs> my 15% um, is $30 that I'll be donating, um, which is three hours of babysitting, um, but nine months of my work. And um, it was a sad and happy moment for me when I realized how much I'd be donating um, because um, I just knew that it was something that was so important to me, but um, it was what I grew um, through this program, or through my company, and um, those were the things that I was able to take out of it, so it was more than $30 to me. Um, so as I was researching entrepreneurship, um, I came across Maddie, and she's a 15-year-old who started a flip-flop company called Fish Flops, um, and she was able to ra raise a million dollars in her first year. And it was really easy for me to feel really discouraged about how well she was able to do in her first year. Um, and then I kind of realized that it was her motivation and her drive that were able to take her to those places and how important it is to keep um, motivated and uh, to stay on top of what she was doing. Um, so as I started my project, I really truly ran into 99 problems. Um, and some of the real problems that I faced uh, were through uh, the embroiderers were uh, giving me prices I couldn't sell at. And um, I had to really readjust my image of what I wanted this company to be over the course of the year uh, because it just wasn't uh, starting off the way I wanted and it was um, mainly motivation that was the hardest part for me during this process. Um, I started off very motivated and excited about what I was doing but as things started to change and everything I began um, to lack motivation, and it wasn't until things started moving again that I was able to pick myself up and keep going. Um, and that's truly the spirit of an entrepreneur. What I really didn't realize um, was such an important part of this process was support. Uh, when I first started working on it, I didn't want a mentor at all. Um, I wanted to be able to make my own mistakes, and I didn't want anyone to take control or tell me which I, what I should do and what I shouldn't do, um, but it was, it was my mistake because I confused um, support with control, and I really wish that I would have um, seek support earlier because it was such an important thing for me to gain motivation through the people around me. Um, I grew so much throughout this process. Um, I can't even tell you the things that I've learned and, and the different places that I've grown, uh, but I'll start with leadership. Although in this picture I look more like a dictator, um, <laughs> I definitely grew um, in my leadership and through my communication especially, uh, being able to tell um, the people that I was selling to or the people that I was buying from um, what exactly I was looking for and being able to communicate uh, my vision of what I wanted this company to be was something really valuable that I learned that I didn't see um, ever being a, a part of this process. Um, the number one was a really big inspiration for me during this process. Um, it was something that I didn't realize was so important, but the number one is the first thing that you do, the first step you take, the first hat you sell. Mark Zuckerberg had one friend on Facebook, and Maddie sold one pair of flip-flops. 
Um, so the number one was really important to me as I continued my project. The thing that was most important to me, though, throughout this journey was that I learned uh, how important it would be to have education be a part of um, entrepreneurship. And I think it's so important that schools support entrepreneurships and people that are looking to try something new and, and see a need and go ahead and fill it and see what the, what the solution to the problem is and go attack it and face it head on and not be afraid to fail and not be afraid to take chances. So I think it's important that our schools support um, entrepreneurship. I can't tell you how many connections I was able to make uh, from my company to school. All my business classes and math classes, it applied directly to my company. And I didn't notice that until um, I was reflecting on uh, my company and the nine months that I spent working on it. Um, I'm also very excited to continue working um, on my project over the summer and next year with different uh, groups of people and, and being able to meet new people that I could inspire and could help and they could inspire me. Um, so there's a lot of value to entrepreneurship and I hope that I've encouraged you to try something new and to take the first step in something that you believe in.